D.D. is a 39-year-old male presenting to the emergency room with a serious case of aspect ratio blindness. This is what happened to his monitor. A little lead-in today was uh, based on Dr. Bernard over at the Chubby Emu YouTube channel. So if you want to check out some cool medical uh, cases, then Dr. Bernard has those for you. He's very funny, very smart guy and breaks down all this really cool medical stuff. So check that out. And I'm gonna be doing a little gag like that uh, on, on most, most if not all of my videos going forward, just to kind of tip the hat to some of my favorite YouTubers out there. So today I have something really, really cool to show you guys. I actually just found out that you could do this and I think it's amazing. You can take your PCSX2 and mod pretty much all your games, maybe not all of them, but most of them to widescreen, and it's super duper easy. So check this out. So we're in game and we're in full screen. Now, like I said before, this is with no hardware acceleration, so this is pretty close to the original experience, and in a future video, I'll be showing you a little bit about how to set up that hardware acceleration, but for now, we're just doing native resolution. Now, of course, you have these two big annoying black bars on the side, and there's really nothing we can do about them right now except for press the F6 key on the keyboard to stretch the image. And that just looks awful. It just looks terrible. Everything is kind of distorted. So the black bars are gone, but now everything else looks bad. And you can press it again to go to stretch, which looks the same. And there's a reason for that, because some games have native widescreen. And then we press F6 again to go back to normal. So our only options are black bars, stretched, stretched again, or normal. And this this medium one is for games that have built-in um, widescreen. So it kind of stinks, right? Really not fantastic at all. But we can fix that. This is really cool. And if you followed my first PCSX2 tutorial, then you already have everything you need to do this. And this is great. First thing you're gonna do with PCSX2 open, you're gonna click on PCSX2, hover over game settings, and then enable widescreen patches. Done. Now, you're gonna go to your PCSX2 installation folder, and there's a folder here called cheats underscore WS, and an archive here called cheats underscore ws dot zip. We are going to go ahead and extract this into that folder. Now if you look in this folder, it's full of these PNACH files, full of these panache files. And each one of these has a corresponding CRC for a game. So each one of these is a game. Now I don't know what games do and don't support this. A lot of them do. There are some games like Final Fantasy XII that have built-in widescreen support that this actually is an improvement upon, is a better version of widescreen support. So very, very cool. And now that we did that, we can boot our game. But one more thing. Go to Config, Emulation Settings, and there's two things to set here under GS Window. Aspect Ratio, we're going to do widescreen. And we're going to have FMV aspect ratio override set to 4.3. And there's a reason why we do that. We do that because the cutscenes can't be rendered in widescreen. They're pre-recorded. There's no extra data to bring into the picture. So if you don't do that, then your cutscenes will be stressed and they'll look kind of crappy. So I recommend that. And I'm going to go ahead and enable start in full screen just to kind of speed things up a little bit. Let's boot our game. And look at this. We have full widescreen, we have no black bars. It's not all stretched. And this is really amazing, and it's a very simple fix that some of the development community around this has made, where all they did was allow it to render those two parts of the screen that are missing and display them on screen. It's fantastic. And if you use the F6 key here, and you start messing with that, you're gonna see it goes to stretch, and it stays the same. Or if we go back to 4.3 and everything looks all, all scrunched, everything looks all squished. So we go back to 16.9 aspect ratio and boom, we have our widescreen game. And if you looked at the number of, of panache files that we had there, there are a lot of them. 
So that means a lot of games support this, which is really cool. I haven't even checked out that many yet, but the handful of games I've played so far, they've all supported it. It's really, really awesome. And that's it. That's all for today's tutorial. I hope you really enjoyed this little bit of new knowledge. I hope you have fun playing. And uh, for the next PCX2 video that I'm going to do, we're going to get into the config a little bit. And we're going to configure our, our video plugin settings to make this look much nicer. Something that's a, uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do in here. But we're going to just make things look nice. That's all for today. So thank you again for watching and enjoy your games.